Greetings, pen pals. I haven't done a review of a pen from Moon Man in quite some time, so here we go. This is the Moon Man C1. This is a really, really nice um, um, acrylic uh, uh, demonstrator pen from Moon Man um, that uh, is, is basically perfectly cylindrical, which is... Um, which is which is kind of cool looking, sort of very very minimalistic looking. Um, it's a, as you can imagine, given that it's um, it's really just a tube of acrylic for the most part. It's decently light, only weighs 21 grams. Not a huge oversized pen or anything like that by any means. Here it is compared to a Lamy Safari and a Pilot Metropolitan, and as you can see, it's pretty much right in line size wise with these popular pens. It is a uh, screw to uncap pen. It takes two turns to unscrew and it does not post or come even close to it. Um, while I got the cap off, this would be nice to show you both the cap and the uh, end of the barrel have these nice sort of chunky acrylic end pieces, which you see on a couple of other pieces, the Opus 88 Coloro immediately comes to mind, etc. But I kind of like these sort of very, very clear. So you can see how nice and clear they are and um, see sort of the quality of the material uh, that they're using here. So this is sort of a nice, um, very nice acrylic uh, finish and they did a really really nice job with this i did lie a little bit when i said that it's perfectly cylindrical one thing that's really really interesting is and it's very hard to see but you can feel it with your hand there is a flat side that lines up and goes all the way across the cap that allows you to set it down without it rolling now you can make it roll if you really want to but um this definitely will um, allow it to come to a stop and you can set it down on a desk without needing a roll stop or anything like that. So that's a really nice subtle touch. And again, very hard to see, but that sort of flattened facet is definitely there along the side, which is really, really nice. Um, in terms of filling mechanism, it's a cartridge converter or eyedropper filled. I chose to remove the converter and eyedropper. It does come with a converter. I'll show you the converter in a minute when I go over the packaging because the packaging on this pen is quite, is quite nice. Now the section is going to be different. They use different sort of patterns of section material on, on different ones. So your section is not going to look quite like this, but this particular one is this really, really nice swirly purple pattern with lots of really nice chatoyancy, etc. It just looks really, really really gorgeous. Um, the section um, is threaded into the barrel and it does come with an o-ring which uh, seals it off pretty nicely. I did add a little silicone grease there for the purposes of eyedropping it. The nib is a very nice Moon Man nib which is found on a lot of their other pens. It's got sort of this Monteverde style um, mountain top kind of effect. Um, I'm guessing it's really meant to be MM for Moon Man um, but it does look like a mountain top. It's got a really nice a crescent shaped breather hole has the moon man logo says the word moon man and an f for fine although you will see this this doesn't write super fine for an asian nib it actually borders on a medium which is really nice and it has an ordinary uninspiring plastic feed now this section is um is is quite comfortable now you do have this ledge here which definitely is severe and sharp and you certainly don't want to be gripping it there but gripping it anywhere over here is fine and comfortable this pen is about as short as i would want to get for a pen that doesn't post i'm a, as you probably have seen from other videos i'm a big fan of posting pens uh, i wouldn't want this to be any shorter and it is very very light without the cap and holding it it definitely like if you want a pen that has feels like it has heft to it go elsewhere so with the ink this pen is only 21 grams including the cap so that's um not uh not a hefty uh hefty pen um by uh, by any means um but this is a nice nice pen it really really a pretty pretty pen let's take a quick look at how it's packaged um comes in this nice box and this is a very very nice box the box has uh, it's got some labeling on the back, which indicates the particular pen, um, but it's got this sort of like little drawer with a pull, and you pull it open, and when you pull it open, you have a little bed for the pen, 
Um, this was the converter that came inside the pen. It has this little elastic that holds the pen down. It comes with a, a glass eyedropper for filling purposes when you want to eyedropper it. And mine came with an extra nib, a, a fine nib, um, uh, and uh, a f extra feed. Um, the nib is sort of just a uh, sort of generic iridium point feed, depending where you buy this. I suspect you may or may not get this extra nib and feed uh, with it. But this is a, a very nice, and this is sort of a high quality, this is not like cheap, very, this is sort of a very giftable packaging. It's very, very nice. Um, has a little slogan here, which I found kind of interesting. It says, Moon Man, feel the temperature of writing, which, um, okay, I will try to do that. Very, very nice indeed. Um, well, that's about um, all we can talk about in terms of the parts of this pen because it's a pretty simple pen but 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 as we all know pens were meant to write and i'm sure you want to see how this pen writes well you're going to be able to see that right now okay folks what we're writing with here is a moon man model c1 and this has a fine steel nib and um, um, this is a pretty pretty nice pen it's very smooth and it's actually quite wet which I definitely appreciate um, and um, it writes really 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 well and one thing I like about it is it is not too fine. So sometimes these uh, Chinese pens with fine nibs are really, really, really fine. Um, this is not the case. So this writes really, really well. Very smooth, flows really well. Um, I definitely like. I definitely like the writing experience on this. This is really, really, really a nice writing. Uh, a nice writing pen. And uh, I've been very, very uh, pleased with it. Um, doesn't post. I w that's about the only flaw I'd have with it, but it would probably ruin this nice acrylic even if it did post. So I totally get um, why it doesn't post, but I'm, I, 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 as you as you probably know, I'm just a big fan of posting. So um, um, I, I, that, that's always a little ding for me. But again, I'm not going to hold it against this pen. Be if I was giving these numerical ratings, I wouldn't really take any points off for not posting in this particular case. When, when, when I, what annoys me is when you have a pen that really has no reason not to post and it doesn't post. Twisby Vac 700R is a really good example of that. There's no reason why they made that, I mean, I, that I could see at least why that pen shouldn't post and it really doesn't. And um, that that's, the, that's where I kind of would deduct points, if you will, for not posting, but not with something like this because this is really just, posting would probably ruin the aesthetics of the pen. So get off the soapbox about posting now. Um, that's about all I really have to say about this particular pen. Oh, the nib, by the way, not, you know, flex, really. I mean, you can get a tiny bit of line variation there, but no, this is not a flex nib by any stretch of the imagination. But anyway, like I said, that's about it for this pen. Let's take a, a little uh, detour and talk about this ink now for a minute. Okay, this is one of these inks that I really, really can't pronounce. It's got a French name, so this ink is from J. Herban. And it's P-O-U-S-S-I-E -S -S with an accent, R-E, De Lune. I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce this word, um, but it means... My understanding is moon dust purple. Or at least that was what it's supposed to mean is moon dust purple. So this is sort of a very, very deep purple, which is just um, really, really an attractive uh, color. I really like it a lot. Um, it um, doesn't really shade or anything like that. It just kind of sits, sits in place, if you will, but it's just a very, very deep, uh, rich color, um, a very, very attractive, uh, color. Um, and, um, and I really, really, um, I really, really like it. And it's a typical high quality J Herban ink. Um, 
It has sort of average dry time, uh, doesn't, you know, relatively well behaved. And um, all the normal good stuff that you say about J. Herban inks. The only downside, like I said, I don't like the bottles that J. Herban inks come in. They're these sort of short, wide bottles, which is kind of exactly the opposite of why of, of, of uh, ideal shape for a ink bottle secondly they're a little pricey um so on a you know cost per milliliter basis these are all up there in, in the more expensive uh uh inks but you know if you're not going to be buying a lot of it you can splurge on a bottle or two of uh of j herban um anyway that's what it looks like on this rhodia paper let's take a quick look at what it looks like on tomoe river paper Okay, so I'm just going to call this J. Herban. And we're going to call it Moondust Purple. Um, not that I have anything against the correct name. I just can't pronounce it. And so I would not be doing it justice uh, if I even attempted to. So that is that. But like I said, this is, this is the name if you want to look it up. Um... And there you go. And this is, as we said, a very, very nice, pretty, very, very deep uh, shade of purple. Maybe kind of like an eggplant almost, I would say. Very, very, very nice, though. Um, and um, probably among my favorite purples, actually. Um, looks really good. Um, but like I said, you don't get any special effects here. We're not talking about shimmer sheen shading or anything like that. It's just a pretty color. That's really all, all it comes down to. Well, I think that'll just about do it for this video. I certainly hope you enjoyed it. I know I enjoyed making it. Um, if you're not a subscriber, I'd like to ask that you consider becoming one. Give us a thumbs up. Leave a comment or two that are always appreciated. And as always, until next time, have a great day. Bye-bye.